Funny story. Now, look, this story was already hilarious enough. Look, I know there's those that look at it like all publicity is good publicity. They think, hey, you spend all this money, you might as well do it. And as a creative, as a businessman, I can tell you that you can put something out that can absolutely destroy your brand. You can make something uh, happen that can be bad, largely a bad in terms of that rapport that you're attempting to build with a paying audience, a customer base. And if you leave a sour taste in their mouth, they're less likely to turn around and come back. OK, for any of your future work. So I'm not whether well, it was the right decision or not is neither here nor there. But we're going to talk about that. Batgirl being canceled, although surprising and unorthodox, I can certainly understand why something like that would not be put out if it's as bad as what they had been saying. But one of the new heads with Peter Safran, I think that's how you say his name, Safran, I don't know. But he even said that it was, let's just read, according to Variety, because he said it to Variety, Warner faced controversy in the summer of 22 when it asked Batgirl Future film, despite it being nearly finished, but Peter Safran, the new co-chairperson uh, and CEO of DC Studios alongside James Gunn, said it was the right decision at a press event on the Warner Bros. Uh, lot uh, on January 30th. So this is the day before I recorded this, this press event. Uh, he says, Batgirl's a character that inevitably we will include in our story. He said, on the Batgirl front, it's not about oh that, oh I guess somebody had tried to call me and I accidentally picked the picked the actual uh, phone up my bad they was saying hello nonetheless continue going says on that bad girl front it's not the late uh, it's not about late in the process of the film getting canceled I saw the movie and there are a lot of incredibly talented people in front of and behind the camera on that film but that film was not releasable. And it happens sometimes. That film was not releasable, he says. I actually think that president and CEO of Warner Bros. Discovery, David Zaslav, and the team made a very bold and courageous decision to cancel it because it would have hurt DC. It would have hurt those people involved. He's basically saying that was trash. It was dog water. It was irredeemable. And there was nothing that could that could be done. Nothing that could be done to salvage it. It had to have been that terrible. And you guys have seen some of the like on scene stuff. Um, look, it was dead on arrival. It was always dead on arrival. But this for sure was dead on arrival. So much so that they said it's not worth releasing it. We are in. I forgot how much money they spent on that. Ninety million dollars, something like that. I can't remember how much they spent on that money. It's a lot of money. And they said, look, man, we're just going to need the cost because it's not worth putting it out. It's that bad. That's how bad you should instead of looking at it like, well, wouldn't you want to just recoup some of the fees? If you, if you don't make it all the way back, you want to recoup some of the fees. Look, don't look at it through that lens. Look at it through the lens of what if this damages our brand because it's that terrible. Definitely considering going through this odd stage with at and selling off their assets. Now you got new CEOs involved and in all this. And, you know, as you're trying to build again, rapport with the audience, show them that you're for real with this title, with this brand, with this, uh, uh, with DC in general, sometimes it's like, hey, bro, it ain't worth it. It's trash. So I'm not putting it out. And that's the decision that they made. This man said it was it wasn't releasable, bro. That's the term that he used. It was not releasable. That film was not releasable. <laughs> and he's trying to like trying to soften the blow top. Oh, yeah, that's some talented people involved. <laughs> I mean, it basically people did some stuff. But the product, the alcohol was dog crap. It be like that sometimes, don't it? Sometimes it does happen. But um, they made the bold and brave decision for tokenized Batgirl not doing it. Not doing it. They got that thing canceled and up out of there. Wherever you're viewing the content, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, you may be interested in my comic book company, Ripperverse Comics. Our first book and campaign, I Sum Number One, brought in $3.7 million with tens of thousands of satisfied customers. 
visit Riververse.com to check out our store and stay up to date with the latest campaigns from one of the hottest new comic book companies. Also, my first big step towards a parallel economy was the development of my personal website, ericdjuly.com. This entirely replaced my Patreon. Now, if you enjoy this content, please consider becoming a member over at the website. We have an ever-expanding list of perks for various membership tiers, a forum, and a phone app. Some of these perks will even benefit you if you're fans of the Ripperverse. Anyway, I appreciate you so much for being a supporter and or customer. I even got a little love for my haters.